Dent Trainer sneak preview video is brought to you by Ultra Dent Tools. Made by professionals for professionals. Finesse PDR Tools, when quality matters. And Elimident, beating the hail out of our competition. Okay guys, I'm in a uh, multi-million dollar showroom over here. This is kind of like, I call it the vault. Uh, they got uh, a $3 million Ferrari. I think it's called the Super Lager or Lager. I'm not sure. Um, it could be worth more, but unfortunately it's not the original body. So it's only 3 million. The original body is in this crate right here, um, which will jump it up to 10 million, but it doesn't matter. Every car I do, I still give it a lot of care. And um, we're gonna show this dent, this crease. And we have to be very careful because the paint on it is very brittle. It can be very brittle and we don't want it to crack. And so we're gonna use the heat gun to do this. And I've got my uh, cordless light right here, got my lines. I've got uh, quarter inch lines here and eighth inch lines on the outside so I can easily cross check without having to twist my board a lot to make the lines thinner. It's uh... I want to go right up there. I'm going to heat this up again just a little bit more. Try not to bounce, have a little control on your tool. Because if you make a mistake, you want to be able to catch it. Now this tip allows me to really get a good push. I'll go in there with a sharper tip in just a minute when I go to finish. But I'm telling you that heat really helps a lot. Okay, closing it up. go right in there. Now it's probably gonna have a little bit of uh, distortion in there because of the mark in the, in the paint, but it looks like it's coming out pretty good. Now don't go too fast. No, I, I like to do my passes. We call them passes, where you go up just a little bit, come back, go up, come back, go up, and you don't finish a finish. I mean, you don't go ahead of yourself until that part's really completely done till you got it nice and clean. Then you can go back and go to the next next step. So I call them passes, mini passes. If you, some guys like to go just one full pass, but um, if you do that, you could, you could sometimes you lock the pressure up and then stretch the metal out too fast and you don't wanna do that. You wanna have that metal sustain as you're going through the crease. And that depends on how deep it is. So there is some crown work but I'm gonna have to move that angle it's not too big of a deal right now but it will be when we go to finish so we can knock that down so I did a pass right here it's time to heat up again because it's cooling down a lot fast okay I need to warm that up A lot of people overlook creases, they think it's not too big of a deal, but it is. It's a continuous pit, okay, it's like a deep ding. All right, so now we are gonna continue from right here. Good thing that emergency brakes on, there's no moving. Anyways, it's coming out good, nice and clean. I'm trying to close that, that center black line up, okay? I don't want no bubbles, no high spots. If I have that, then I have to go back and, and make sure I, I clean it up. Okay.
you know, just being a good dent tech isn't just about being good at what you do. It's about being careful about what you do, being careful about being good, okay? Um, because you could jeopardize the whole repair. I mean, th this is a this is an expensive repair. For me, it, I mean, I'm gonna bill 300 bucks for this, this crease, and it's probably gonna take me less than an hour, but, but they're paying me for my experience, okay? I don't wanna go too fast, guys, either. Okay, don't rush it, you're getting close, don't rush at all. Nice and warm. It is getting some crowns up here on the top. You can see that bulge right over there. And then I'm gonna have you come over my side and take a look too, so we'll get that done. Move it over here for you. Let me turn on another light here. There you go. Make sure we capture all that. Now, I'm gonna move to the skinnier lines because we're going for fine detail, okay? So I'm going for right in there. Skinnier lines give you more detail, okay? The smaller the dent gets, the, the smaller your lines should be. That's why I have eighth inch lines on the outside and have quarter inch in the middle for the bigger dent, and as the dent gets smaller, I can look at the quarter inch, I mean the eighth inch lines. Now, if you have just quarter inch lines all the way through, don't worry, all you need to do is keep turning your board, and if you turn your board, the lines get super thin, and then you can see a lot more detail. getting tighter and harder as they get close to the top because this body line right here is holding pressure, okay? There is paint cracked up here though. It's a little split right there, but using heat's not gonna, hopefully not get it to come, you know, go any further. So, but we do need to release some pressure and we're gonna show you how to do that right now because I think that's part of the problem. 